there's a new protective case supplier for mint on card three and three quarter inch four inch action figures and that is mock masters they have this one piece clamshell case the lid is attached to the tray and there are a few features that i'd like to show you here like this lug right here that actually will pinch the bottom of a card and flatten it uh you know that with star cases you have uh you put a you put a card figure in a star case and sometimes you'll have this this bow that forms or this cupping because it just kind of weighs it down the bottom of a star case does not clamp onto the bottom of a card now i can foresee some potential issues with this but at the same time i've used almost a hundred of these cases and put a variety of different figures in them and have had no problems at all now let's weigh pros and cons these are 625 a piece are they worth it let's go ahead and talk about pros the feel of this case versus a star case these are a, a bit thicker plastic and they're very rigid i don't foresee any problems with them bending i've been taking them apart they come stacked like this and I've been taking them apart without issue. I've had no deformities. And with, uh, with star cases, sometimes, you know, they're a little thinner, especially here lately. It seems like the star case, the, uh, the Protec star case is not as high of a quality product as it once was just, just an observation. It's not every case, but some of them seem a little bit thin. And when you go to pull them apart, they deform, they bend, you get, sometimes you get the little white stress marks from, uh, from where they've got it almost creased and the uh the backs on a few of them that i've gotten lately just don't fit real well but these these mock master cases have two in each corner locking lugs to keep this case closed and one here on the side so when you close this case hear that this thing has a tight, tight, positive lockup. These locking lugs are, uh, are set really well and engage in a way that this thing's not falling open. It's not going to just pop open at random. If the case falls on the ground, I don't think this is going to fall or this is going to open up. Uh, I've actually had that happen with a star case before. So it's very secure. It's thick. And, uh... These particular cases are supposedly UV protective. And I say supposedly because I haven't really seen any um, solid evidence to suggest that they are or are not. The company advertises them as being UV protective. And that means that it will protect your carded figure from damaging UV light. As we know, some of these cases, I've seen star cases do it. I've seen everyone I'm sure has seen the bubble on a card turn yellow and sometimes the figure inside even, and that is from UV damage. And these are supposed to protect against that. And they're also made in the USA. They are made of PETE. But these, these, uh, these cases are made in the USA. For me, that's another uh, great positive point for going with cases from this company. Something else that I'd like to point out, they are not quite as deep as a star case. This is a con in some ways. You've got about half an inch or a little better on a star case, and these are not quite as deep. So they will not fit the spy troops figures uh, i showed a while back that spy troops would fit in a regular star case one but they will not fit in these these work fantastic for uh vintage figures i've put a bunch of vintage figures which are actually hanging up behind me here uh behind the ladder i've put a bunch of uh vintage figures in them i've put uh, a decent amount of modern figures the DTC 2005 figures, uh, 25th anniversary from 2007 and up, 
And I also tried the retro figures. And the retro figures fit, but they are not as good of a fit as what I would like. Uh, they are a little, the bubble is a little bit tall for these cases and it comes right up to this. It's not pressing on it. It doesn't push out on the inside of the case, but it's, uh, if, if they make any that are any bigger, they won't fit. If you look right here, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. You can also see that there's no deformation, so there's no pressure being put on the case, but the bubble on the retro figure comes right up to the case. Now, same time, great fit, solid, and I like it. There is a very little bit of space right up here at the top, but uh, other than that, I see no issues with this case at all. As a matter of fact, when I was putting these up on the wall, one of them fell onto the floor with a figure inside and did not open and did not bend. So these are a very good, solid, rigid case for figures like this and for vintage figures. Another pro to the Mach Masters cases is the fact that they are saving me room. I'm able to fit four carded figures on a six inch hook versus the three in a star case that I currently have on there. A fourth figure will not fit. Uh, the lug at the bottom that I was talking about, this little feature right here, I will show you how that works. I believe they call that a bow buster because it busts the bow of a card. This is a star case. You can see how the card's a little bit bowed inside there. This is a star case one actually from ProTech and this is a DTC figure. We will pop it out and make a comparison of the locking lugs as well. Uh, the locking lugs on a star case you have one, two, three, four. These are not formed very deep, but you can see that they're there. And the indentations on the lid, you can see those. I'll put the bottom in first, line it up, and then snap the top in. You don't hear a snap, you don't hear a pop. And when you go to open these, put pressure in the right spot and they just pop right open with zero uh, little to no effort like that but it's what we've had available to us as GI Joe collectors for a long time almost all of these cases and I'm gonna say even the mock masters case included are manufactured with Star Wars in mind and it just so happens that they work with G.I. Joe because G.I. Joe came on a six by nine card back as well as Star Wars did and they're both made by Hasbro now so anyway DTC figure with the slight bow to the card you can see this fits in the tray really well and we'll lock this up now listen for the pop this thing snaps together with a very positive lockout and the bow buster did its job. It's flattened out the card. It's going to stay flat. You're not going to have any, uh, you're not going to have gravity affecting it. And that's one of the things that they talked about in their uh, Facebook video that they put out was the effects of gravity on these cards, how they, they start to sag a little bit. But I mean, this does a really great job of flattening out that card and everything on the back is still visible. They also have a little bit of um, an anti-glare feature. These aren't perfectly smooth. Uh, you can see, uh, if you hold it just right in the light, you can see that they almost have like a matte finish, but they are extremely clear. They have a, a ton of clarity so that whatever you've put into one of these cases is very easily seen. Another, another feature that they've added to it for rigidity and stability is this rim around the perimeter of the tray. And that helps to keep it from deforming under pressure. I, these, these things are really strong. Uh, even the little bit of thickness that they have over star cases 
has really done a good job of keeping these a very sturdy, stout case. I did, just to show you that I have put vintage figures, this is one of my favorite figures from G.I. Joe, one of my favorite characters. This card is not in the best of shape, as you can see, and it had a little bit of a bow to it. Well, no longer. The card is now flattened out because the top engages the top of the card nicely, and the bow buster lug here at the bottom has eliminated the bow in the card by putting pressure here. Now, uh, long-term effects of that, the only thing that I could foresee happening is just uh, keeping the card flat, and in turn, when you remove it from the case, it would also stay flat. I've been a fan of Starcase for a long time. I've used them on my collection for a long time. I wanted to replace pretty much everything with a six by nine card back, but since they won't fit the spy troops, the Protect Starcase will be my will will remain in my collection. It'll still have a home because of these. I keep all of these figures in a Starcase because they fit so well. Now, uh, and like I said, the, the bubble is the problem. As you can see, they come out almost all the way to the uh, surface of the tray on a Starcase 1, and they're just too big for the Mock Masters case. Now, I think that I've shown, I think that I've shown other Starcases I use in my collection, the Starcase 5, the uh, Starcase SSAF 1, I think, uh, the SSAF is for um, Retaliation and Rise of Cobra figures. The Starcase 5 is for the Pursuit of Cobra uh, style of card, and they fit those really well. Those will not fit into the Mock Masters case. There's nothing to engage the card back, whereas with uh, ProTech, they're, the star cases that they make do engage the card. And again, that's because not that they made them for G.I. Joe, but because they made them for a similarly carded Star Wars figure. And, you know, it seems like uh, G.I. Joe collectors kind of get left out with a lot of that stuff sometimes, and we have to ride the coattails of other brands. I understand that there's a much larger community with Star Wars, but it would be nice to have some things focused on G.I. Joe. Uh, Hasbro at one point, for a very short period of time, made these cases. Uh, these, these are okay. They serve their purpose for what they are. And that's just a protective case. They have a good positive lockup with, all, with lugs on all four sides but they are not UV protective. I've actually had some of these cases turn yellow before. I haven't had any cards or figures be damaged inside the case, but I have had these cases turn, I mean, just dark yellow. I'm hoping that I don't see yellowing over time with the Mock Masters cases. If not, then I'll continue to buy their products. As it stands now, I'm probably gonna have to buy another large order of them. I ordered a hundred and I'm almost out already. As you can see here behind me, these pegs back here got a lot of figures on them. The shorter pegs have four figures and the 10 inch pegs have six figures. Another thing that the Mock Masters cases are doing because they're not as deep of a tray as a Starcase one, they're saving me space, which is one thing that I really need in here. I need space, and uh, they're they're helping out with that a lot. The big question of the video, are they worth it considering the price of $6.25 each versus being around $5 for a Starcase 1? Yes, I understand that with both of these, you do get bulk discounts. You can purchase 100 of the Mock Masters cases for $3.95 plus shipping. And honestly, for my purposes, yes, I think that they are worth the price. They're strong, they're rigid, they're rock solid, and UV, protectin UV protective, and they're made in the USA. Something that I really like to support with a lot of these products 
anything that's made in the USA, I'll give it a try. And if it's good, I'll keep buying it. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. I will post a link to where you can purchase Mock Masters cases online in the description. Also in the description, there is a link where you can buy Action Media Reviews merchandise and links to Facebook groups that you can join where you can get up with me and other people in this great community that we have of G.I. Joe collectors and share your ideas, share your collection, and, uh, you know, we're always buying and selling stuff with each other. So hopefully I'll see some of you guys there soon. Yo, Joe.